Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the history of the French men's national soccer team. Pull up a seat and let's start the discussion. France is located in Western Europe and has a population of about 65 million people. The National Soccer Federation is a member of UEFA, which is the European Confederation in FIFA. The French national team plays most of its home matches at the Stade de France, which is located in the North Parisian suburb of Saint-Denis. The stadium holds about 80,000 people. France was technically one of the founding members of FIFA in 1904, but its national federation was in a bit of disarray in its early years. The organization that joined FIFA in 1904 was called the USFSA, which stood for this. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. That was a multi-sport federation and wasn't specific to soccer. The first organization committed solely to organizing soccer in France was formed in 1906 or 1907, and it was called the Comité Français Interfédéral, or CFI. I hope I pronounced that right. It was a rival organization to the USFSA, with the main difference being the CFI wanted to accept professionalism in soccer, whereas the USFSA wanted to keep things amateur. Eventually, the CFI was recognized by FIFA in 1908 as the main soccer federation in the country, and it was admitted to FIFA in 1910. The CFI basically evolved into the Fédération Française de Football, or FFF, which was officially formed on April 7, 1919. The FFF is the governing body of soccer in France today. The French national team's nickname is Le Blues, which means the blues or the blue ones in French. It comes from the kit color that the national team plays in. The FFF crest looks like this. The colors of blue, white, and red in the crest are from the French national flag. The star at the top of the crest represents France's one World Cup trophy from 1998. The letters FFF stands for the French Football Federation, which is still FFF in French. And the rooster is known as the Gallic rooster. It has been used throughout France's history and was an important emblem of the French Revolution. Historians believe it came from France's enemies jokingly calling the people roosters because of their stubbornness and pride. The French took the insult and flipped it to represent the people as a source of honor. The rooster came to symbolize faith and light, each morning the rooster crows representing light winning over darkness and good winning over evil. A version of the rooster crest has been worn on the national team kits dating back to 1909. France has appeared at 15 World Cup Finals tournaments, including the 2018 World Cup. They have one World Cup title, the 1998 World Cup, which was won on home soil. From a continental perspective, France has appeared at nine European championships, and they have won two Euros, the 1984 Euros and the 2000 Euros. France qualified for the 2018 World Cup by winning Group A in UEFA World Cup qualification ahead of Sweden. They have been placed in Group C for the 2018 World Cup group stage. I want to mention five historical players in this section, and I'm going to go in chronological order of when they appeared for the French national team. Raymond Coppa made his debut for France in 1952. He was named player of the tournament at the 1958 World Cup, ahead of incredibly talented players like Pele, Garincha, and Just Fontaine. He was also the first French player to ever win the Ballon d'Or. That happened in 1958. That award is given to the best player in the world. Just Fontaine, who we just mentioned, only had 21 caps for France, but scored an incredible 30 goals in those 21 matches. Fontaine scored 13 goals in the 1958 World Cup, which is still a record for one tournament. Jumping ahead a few years, Michel Platini is widely considered the second best player in the history of French soccer. He was a talented attacking midfielder who led France to their first major trophy, the 1984 European Championships. He scored 9 of France's 14 goals at that tournament. Almost every article I found considered Zinedine Zidane the best French player of all time. He had over 100 caps for the French national team and scored two goals in the 1998 World Cup final where France beat Brazil in Paris. Zizou, which is his nickname, is an absolute legend and is the most talented French player ever. And, and finally, Thierry Henry is one of the best strikers France has had in their history. Henry scored a record 51 goals and 123 caps for the national team over a 13-year national team career.
And players to watch out for at the 2018 World Cup are Antoine Griezmann and Kylian Mbappe. Griezmann should be the star player as he plays striker for Atletico Madrid in Spain. He's one of the best strikers in the world. And Kylian Mbappe should be a breakout player for France. He plays as a winger for Paris Saint-Germain in France. He is considered the best young player in the world with many expecting him to become one of the best players in the world within the next few years. France has two main rivals, Italy and Germany. France and Italy are two of the historically strongest teams in the world. They've met in a bunch of high-profile and dramatic matches over the years. Matches at the 1938, 1978, 1986, and 1998 World Cups all had elements of drama. But the 2000 Euro Final won by France with a golden goal in extra time, and the 2006 World Cup Final won by Italy on penalties in the infamous Zidane headbutt match were definitely the most dramatic. Though these countries share a lot of similarities in their culture, their national soccer teams are definitely rivals. France also considers Germany to be a rival. Obviously, the world wars play a part in the rivalry, but the rivalry on the pitch really stems from a 1982 World Cup semi-finals match in Spain. There was a massive collision in the match between French defender Patrick Batistan and German goalkeeper Tony Schumacher with the score tied 1-1. The incident left Batistan with two missing teeth, three cracked ribs, and a damaged vertebrae, and he was unconscious. The German goalkeeper didn't appear to be concerned about the player at all and escaped without receiving any cards or warnings from the referee. The match continued with France taking a 3-1 lead in extra time before heartbreakingly losing on penalties. That match is still cited as the main reason for France's dislike of Germany on the soccer pitch. Le Bleu's all-time record appearance holder is Lilium Thuram with 142 caps. The country's all-time record goal scorer is Thierry Henry with 51 goals. And one last interesting fact about France, the World Cup trophy is named the Jules Rimet Trophy. Rimet was heavily involved in the French Federation's creation in 1919 and joined FIFA in 1921. He was one of the creators and most outspoken proponents of a World Championship tournament in 1929. This tournament would become the World Cup in 1930 and the trophy was named the Jules Rimet Trophy in 1946. It is still known as that today. So there you have it. A bit of history on the French men's national soccer team's history. If you have anything else to add to our discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!